morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm sure the tape uh, of the Sunday game was not great to watch. Yeah. Was there, was there anything positive that you can take out of that defense? Uh, you know, we kept scrapping. Wasn't perfect, but um, gave ourselves a chance. But uh, man, we uh, we squandered it away at that. Yeah, um, you know, I think coordinated rushes are a lot better. Uh, you know, um, you have to be able to communicate what you guys are going to do, and um, you know, got to rush with our head, heads up. You know, can't just bury your head. Um, use your extension to get off blocks, um, and you know, in the middle, we just got to push up a little bit more. You know, I think a couple times, if we get more pressure up the middle. Um, there's not that big wide lane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I honestly didn't even know like what exactly happened. Um, man, I'm never going to try and be a dirty player. I never want anybody to think I am. Um, you know, I. Uh, was already tired running down there in the first place. Uh, I was more ticked off when I got pulled up because, um, you know, I was trying to catch my breath for a second. But um, in slow motion, it looks way worse. <laughs> I honestly was just trying to catch my fall, um, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I never want to be looked at as a dirty player, uh, but I can't change anybody's opinion. You know, that's their opinion. Um, I'm going to go out there, play best for my team, um, and, you know, stay focused on, on the task at hand. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I'll see. Uh, hopefully not, but you never know. Um, I reached out. Um, on my Instagram, um, haven't heard back, but man, they're more focused about you know other things. And um, he's a heck of a player. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, and if I do get a chance to reach out in person at, at some time, uh, I will. Which Isaiah? <laughs> you gotta you gotta clarify that. Wisconsin. Yeah. You know, he provides a level of depth. Um, you know, I know he's a younger guy and he's still learning, but, um, you know, uh, he's got good pad level, uses his hands well, um, is able to get on the edge and rush the passer pretty well. Um, and he's only going to get better. You know, the more reps he gets, he's going to continue to get better. And, um, you know, we got to have him out there. You know, he's not a, he's a, he's a guy we have to depend on um, very early in this season, but uh, he's, he's performed pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a good balance of it. You know, understand what I have to do, uh, understand what the team needs most. Um, you know, sometimes it's, you know, I, I need to, you know, apply pressure and I need to. Uh, you know, attack more. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, cleaning it, cleaning things up for guys. Um, you know, uh, it's it's definitely different not having to it and Tyson out there. Um, there was a level of, um, you know, trust. Um, but you know, that's just the, deal, the hand we're dealt. I got my kids at home. I don't have any kids at work. I got teammates. Um, you know, uh, I love coming to work and I love competing with my teammates. Uh, you know, 
I never look at his age because at the same time, um, you know, what I've learned, I'm teaching other guys, but I'm still learning things from other young guys, um, you know, and trying to better my game. And, um, you know, when you feel like you've learned too much and you have all the answers, I think that's when you got to call it a, 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 a career. You know, I think uh, if you're not learning, then, you know, shame on you. Circle. You came to the league, you had a girl like you're better than Keith Smith. Ham, Chris so Hoke, Ziggy Hood, Steve McClendon, you name it. So you, you had a bunch of veterans. Like now you're like, you know, you guys are in the tournament now. Uh huh. Do you remember being a rookie and having to look up to those guys and having to Do I remember being a rookie? Uh, and Mitch yelling at me all the time and had me in for extra meetings and not thinking like I was ever going to play here. <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, I remember that, living on the south side and being depressed every day after practice because I'm not playing. But man, uh, uh, I think everything just becomes worth it. You know, I think it becomes earned. Um, you know, the thing I appreciate most about Coach Mitch is, you know, he challenged me to, you know, come back better every time. And it made me work twice as hard and um, gave me the opportunity when I was ready to play uh, to not, you know, seize the, to actually seize that moment. So, um, you know, full circle or whatever you want to call it, uh, I'm just appreciative to be in a year, year 11. What's it like being with other teams and attention? You avoid frustration because teams are working their way to the Um. You know, I think you just got to be ready for the moments you do get. Um, you know, uh, there's not many times you're going to get the one-on-ones, but when you do get them, you got to capitalize on them. Um, you know, double teams are part of the game. Um, if you're beating double teams, you're doing something right. Ben said yesterday you could play in any era of school football. It's like the ultimate moment. It's a great compliment, but, man, um, I'm just trying to play in this era right now. <laughs> you know, uh, there are a lot of great players, and um, you know, you look back at the guys before, and um, I would love to play in the era uh, where you could do some of the stuff that uh, Joe, me, me and Joe could do, but uh, we're not playing in that era. And uh, you know, uh, to play amongst with some of those guys, uh, but I know it was a different era when they played. Um, I've learned a lot from them over the years, and. Um, watching Mean Joe, watching Ernie Stotner, watching L.C. Greenwood, watching Kiesel, uh, Hamp, Aaron Smith, man, uh, Craig Lloyd, you know, um, I'm just appreciative of all of them because I watch them and I see them do it for this team and, you know, have great careers and, um, you know, th those are the guys I always try to emulate. Chris, you try to kind of carry that along with, with the younger guys? I, I just try to lead by example. Um, I think, you know, um, words can say a lot, but your actions and how you prepare and um, how you go about your business. Um, I was always taught, taught to run to the ball. Um, and, you know, instilling that upon, upon my teammates, I think I got to try to do. not only the next game, but it's the most important. And um, they got to win here. Um, you know, they they uh, were able to, you know, uh, not give up a sack versus us. Um, and, you know, all that worked hand in hand. And, um, you know, it challenges our front seven. And uh, they ran the ball when they needed to in the second half of our last game. and. Uh, really, you know, uh, held the clock and, you know, we got to do a great job of really getting after the quarterback, but to do that, you got to stop the run. I don't know. I, I can't live in alternate universes, man. Like, I was dealt the hand I got. Uh, 
I hated it while it happened. Um, man, I remember in that corner, uh, Mitch, you know, working me like a dog and being like, man, I just want an opportunity at this. And I finally got an opportunity, um, what was it, year three, uh, 2015, you know, versus the Jets. And man, I, I made sure I was gonna have it, I, I was gonna take advantage of that. Um, you know, I know I played before, you know, shoot, I remember the rookie game, I mean, my rookie year, uh, we went into Denver and we lost like two D linemen. And we, were, we were stuck with like D three. And so um, I got opportunities to play, but to play consistently and to start and um, not only just be a plug-in guy, but to be a guy that can contribute, uh, that was always my goal.